discussion of possible action on an update report from the county auditor on the Maverick County Amphitheater at the County Lake. Do we have a motion for that? There's no motion, sir. Motion by Commissioner Reese. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Ramos. We're in discussion. Um, to date, we have spent $3,263,355.22. That's what's been paid so far. We are pending $788,198.11. The projected cost as of June 1st is, um, and that has not changed as of today, is $4,051,553.33. Um, as far as contractors and, and how much has been spent in road and bridge, that's not something we can track because that's not something we can bill to a CO. You can't bill employee that was already budgeted uh, for a, a certificate of, of obligation. Um, I think any further questions should be addressed probably to the contractors that were hired for the project. Um, our job as auditors is to see the invoices that we get from them, make sure that the completion that they're claiming and billing us for is done, which my department does. Once we verify that they're not billing us for something that's not completed, um, then we pay the invoices as is. Ma'am, um, originally the federal government earmarked the Maverick County over $10 million, right? Originally. We're talking about the amphitheater. Well, that some of that funding is not going to go in that direction from, from ARPA that you know of? No, sir. Okay. Just, I have that question for you. So, um, what, I, what I wanted to ask you <coughs> about the amphitheater um, Commissioner, we're on item 48. I think you're referring to item 50. What I want to, I want to get to some of the questions that we have here. What, what is it that um, you gave me some copies? Correct. Yeah. And I, thank you very much for, for helping me try to understand. This is one that you gave me. Correct, and that's the one that I'm reading off of. Originally. The project was supposed to cost how much? Two point six million dollars. But we have had how many change orders after now? We have had four change orders. Um, like I said, the project cost as of now is four million fifty one thousand five hundred and fifty three. But all change orders are brought up to commissioner's court. That is not something we approve. That is something you guys approve and review. So right now it, it's double the original amount then? No, double would be five million, Commissioner. 5.2 million. We're not near, near close to double. So We're at four million, 51,000. Do you have any idea when this project will be completed? Again, that is something for the... Are, are you notified from time to time? Correct, and we go and check and inspect, but they're the ones that can give you an estimate on completion, not myself. Right, so we're following the progress of the construction on a regular weekly basis. Um, the schedule right now is projected. I think we're supposed to have su substantial completion in about a week, week and a half. That is when the project is basically deemed to be usable. It's not finished. I mean, that there's still some things that will be left. The veterans portion is obviously not going to be done within right. that time. So, so I wouldn't say that it's going to be, I wouldn't even say that it's going to be finished. Our projection based on where, so there's one, one side of this is what the contractor is asking for and where he projects his schedule. His schedule, honestly, has changed every two weeks to keep pushing it out two or three more weeks, to keep two, two more, three more weeks. They're asking for substantial completion in a week and a half. I've just come from the site today. I don't believe it's going to be ready for that. Um, our projection is about if they can man the job, four weeks. I think you said that the project is going to be used but not completed. So substantial completion contractually means that the project or the, the project can be handed over for use, meaning you can start having events there, but they might still be 
touching up the handrails or fixing a block or two on one of the building walls or whatever. It's usable, but it's not completed. So tell me again, so when should it be completed? But the people, community our, has our projection based on where they are today and what can get accomplished is about four weeks. The, the completion date for the contract was as of next week, three months ago. So the contractor is already about three months past the contract completion date. From behind? Yes. Do we expect more change orders? There are a few change orders that are currently coming forward that have to do with uh, some safety issues and a few things that had to be added to the project. And what? Ma'am, and, and so where do we get the money for the change orders, the additional funding? Commissioner, we have a deficit reduction. We have a cushion. You understand that, right? We have, we have, we are, we were, we're in a good situation where we have money in our deficit reduction in our general fund. So the money will come from the general fund? It's been coming completely from the deficit reduction that we had allocated at the beginning of the year. So the deficit reduction can be used for any other thing additional to that? I mean, there was some money from the COs, don't forget that portion. Oh, yeah, that on we the were veterans from, the, from the veterans part, correct. The last CO. From the, the, the 338, that's right, correct. from the 2019 CO that we didn't use and we moved it to the to the current CO. But it, we didn't use, we have used deficit reduction as well. And that's money that was allocated to that from since the beginning of the year. <coughs> Four weeks, maybe? Yes, that's our current estimate based on what needs to be completed to date. Well, let's, just, let's make sure that it gets done right. No, absolutely. So that's, that's, so that's the thing is that we're projecting that based on where we are today, what we see that needs to be completed, and what can be done in the next four weeks. Now, if the contractor doesn't man the project or weather hits or whatever, then it could be extended beyond that. But we are already outside the contract time, so the contractor understands his position. He's working diligently to get there. So we are pushing them daily to, to try to finish the project. And we're out there on a regular basis making sure that it's being done correctly and we're not rushing just to get it completed at this point. Get it done right. Yes, sir. It is a very nice project, by the way, if you go out and look at it. It's, it's coming together very well. Very nice. It is a nice looking facility. I know Jerry's been working with them. I appreciate that. It is the lake and he's in there and I know he's got some ideas that they're working on that can actually help beautify the rest of that portion while they're there. But very costly. Thank you. All right, Commissioner.